winter campaign week 12, I think. It welcome, is. viewers. Welcome, Will. Thank you, Jack. This week, we are going to look at how the dwell time of our friends when they come in increases during the winter because, as you all know, it's horrible outside and it's a little nice bit nicer here. in here. So when people come in, we like to give them activities and stuff to do because, Will, uh, we've had many, many meetings about how people coming into House of Bread and maybe coming in at half past nine and leaving at eight o'clock in the evening <laughs> yeah. might not be the best time, um, the well, best way to spend their yeah. time. So how do we engage people and make their dwell time here an active, encouraging yes. Um, positive experience. That's a very good question. So we don't mind if you come in here and dwell for any length of time. I suppose what we're saying is that we can fill that time where appropriate with positive uh, experiences mm. and also access to people who have knowledge about particular subjects um, so there's and a, or our caseworkers. Yeah, so there's a, there's a wide range of stuff that yes. we do here. So let's let's go. List let's them. start with the fun things. What kind okay. of what kind of things can <laughs> we've people do that fun? We've here? got an extensive library, uh, which is fantastic. So uh, if you have spare books and you want to drop them off, um, by all means do so. That's that's really great, and people do, which is fantastic. Um, we also have an increasingly uh, greater quantity of games that might be classic board games, uh, chess, drafts, uh, it, but it might also be cards it might be some wacky games yeah i mean cards isn't a board games. game technically um no, but yeah we have true. lots of board games loads of jigsaws jigsaws yeah. have been very quite popular quite nice to start the chess club again yeah um, yeah the chess club they're the fun yeah. things if people want to engage i mean you can have more than one person that's a good platform for talking to people especially yeah. if they've had a really difficult day it also helps just to have sort a bit of build a relationship great. where people might move on to something they yes, want to yeah, yeah. Um, we've just very recently as of this week made contact with somebody who wants to think about doing some yoga classes here oh, so thank right. you kerry for making contact yeah. with us about um, that. doing yoga here maybe wednesdays or thursdays yep. she's very flexible that's a joke <laughs> So the, the, that's the fun stuff. Yeah. We like to make this a place where people can do stuff that they wouldn't otherwise feel comfortable yes. doing at home. So if they need support filling in a form or going online, tell us how so they can do that. So now we've got our computer set up. We're hoping to double the number of computers to two uh, later this week. Um, so if you're somebody who needs to apply for universal credit or update benefits or, or contact apply to anybody, be homeless or, yeah, or even apply to be homeless, we've set up the computers and somebody very much cleverer than me has set up the uh, shortcuts so you can go straight to those websites. So you can enjoy your meal, go over and do your thing on the computer. Then we've got our good friends Karen and another folk from the CAB, CA coming in Citizens every Thursday. Citizens Advice. Citizens Advice every Thursday. And again, we can make appointments for you as I did today for somebody, um, tussle and, and complications over their benefits. Fits. We can take some advice around that and around housing. So it's about using the dwell time here in, a, in as productive a way as we can encourage somebody to do so. And they're think, far more yeah. likely to engage if they're in a good, comfortable place. They've got a cup of coffee. They've had something to eat, and then hopefully we can we can make them move on to the place that they need to get to. And it's it is really important because if if we think if we sit at home all weekend and we don't do anything, we just sit. On the tele, uh, sit on the on the telly, on the sofa, <laughs> yeah. watching the telly, or you know, we don't do anything positive during a day. You can go to bed at night, and you can feel like, oh, I haven't really achieved anything. You might have relaxed, but I haven't really achieved anything. Yeah. And for the people coming to Cafe Forty Three doing something active yeah, um, really doing important. something different other than just yeah. surviving for a day can be a really positive experience the other thing i just want to really order end it is the development of our own caseworker team in-house so yes. we've got people who are part of our volunteer group um, for anybody who's interested in finding out about that do get in touch but that's where we take a group of people and train them to a level of competence that they can interact with friends provide them with support and be the guiding line to the agency or, or help mm. people in their own right so that that does create a, a much more productive opportunity for folk who want to take that path yeah and again it's a great way of um, getting into conversation with people if you're playing a game if they're reading a book you know or how's the book or chatting, chatting yeah, to people. yeah it's, it's a just... great platform to engage with people yeah. and yeah it, it is something that um, has been leveled at us about the dwell time and our yeah. is Cafe 43 having a positive impact on people's lives or are they just sitting around doing nothing and yet we have so much available yeah. and it's a really important and part are, of what we do. There are other locations in Stafford that struggle with the increased dwell time that our friends spend in those other locations yeah. and I'm working with different agencies and organisations where we can we can encourage a support and then as I say make this a really productive experience for them mm. while they're here.
And that's all, you know, while people are eating some fantastic um, food. You can see some pork just behind me there that's getting ready to be made into some delicious food for Wednesday and Thursday. Right, Will, thank you very much for joining me again. I don't know why I always thank you. I mean, you have have to be here. Um, (laughs) Thank you very much for watching. You don't have to watch, but it's fantastic the number of people do. Please like and share these videos as wide as you can. Loads of people are. It's really exciting. Don't forget to check out Hob News on Sundays at four or as close to four as possible as I can get. Hob News is all about what we do during the week and everything we're getting up to and how you can get involved as well. Thank you so much for watching these videos once more. We shall see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.